Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, we give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you. I can push in his word, sincerity, and in truth. Back with another lesson. It's going to be real quick. Just a, uh, this is going to be a one and done dealing with uh, a scripture in the book of Philippians, right? About counting all things uh, a loss. And I just want to get into uh, a thought that I had about that scripture is about counting things a loss and cutting shit off, man, <laughs> and cutting things off. Because sometimes in this walk of ours, uh, the Lord gives you many chances when you say you're going to do something. But if you don't end up doing it, he'll come for some of your words, man. And he'll hold your feet to the fire and actually make a choice for you and cut some things off for you. So before it gets to that point, because that recently happened to me and, uh, you know, uh, some things I should have cut off earlier, I didn't cut off. And the Lord actually uh, humbled me, took some things from me and he cut it off for me, man. All right. <laughs> he cut it off for me. But I'd rather uh, him do that than, you know, ultimately be cast out. You know, the Lord deals differently with different uh, individuals. You know, uh, but if you're in the spirit, you recognize when you should diss on earlier. And when the Lord jacks you up, he puts a thought in your head. You know exactly why I jack you up. You know exactly why you're going through this. So this is a scripture I'm going to give. This is Philippians chapter three, verse eight. Yeah, doubtless. It's Paul speaking. Yeah, doubtless. I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. My Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Yahweh Shai. Right. So all these things that's in the world. All right. Whether it's money, woman, status, uh, you know, friendships, whatever. Sometimes it comes to a point. Uh, hobbies, you know, whatever in general that you, you have to cut things off to really flourish or really get your mind right in this truth. All right. It could be some things that you're into, some things that you like. But if it's hindering your growth in the actual reason <laughs> you're still alive and breathing to push this word for you that have been called out there to be prophets and teachers and actually got your hands active uh, in the ministry in this church. Uh, if you don't cut off such such things that you know that's in the back of your head, the Lord may end up doing it for you. And, you know, you could, you're going to be pissed off when he do it. But if you're in the spirit, you're going to understand why he did it. Right. And you will see, you know, you know, the error of your ways, which it could have been smoother if you would have just did the right thing from the jump. But if you don't. Right. You have to suffer such things. And hopefully the Lord, uh, you know, jacks you up, but he doesn't jack you up to, the, you know, to the point where you have the truth. But he shows you the error of your, your ways, man. All right. So now you didn't want to cut things off. So guess what? I'm going to just take whatever it is from you. Now what you're going to do? Are you going to be bitter at me? Are you going to be angry at me? Or are you going to be like, you know what? Hey, I deserve. Hey, I, actually, I deserve death. So you taking whatever you're going to take from me, fine. All praises to you. How about you? I was shy. Let me, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Let me focus that much more in the air, air, uh, areas and things that I need to focus on. All right. So I'm going to read that one more time. And that's going to be it. It's a Philippians 3 and 8. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my power for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. And do count them but don't. Because at the end of the day, all the things that you think <laughs> mean something right now in this, uh, <clears throat> this this life, when the Lord arrives and, and going and leading up to that point in Jacob's trouble, the tribulation, you know, uh, you know, the world war, all that stuff leading up to that, to the market of chip being implemented, all that, uh, all those things uh, that you think mean something right now. In those times and in those days, ain't gonna mill, uh, it, it, they, they ain't gonna amount to a hill of beans, man. All right. 
so that was just something I just wanted to share real quick. Uh, <clears throat> dealing with the, uh, that precept from Philippians 3 and 8. But hoping with some edification that came out of this, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashai. And shalom next time.